Hi everyone and welcome back to DM Excited's YouTube channel. My name is Danny. If you do not know, you need to go ahead and get used to me. Subscribe to my YouTube channel now. The button is below. It's pretty easy. So today we're actually going to be doing another DIY project. And this is our project for today. This large, lovely, white rounded vase. So this vase sits on my DIY bookcase that I just revamped last week. Within that bookcase, I actually um, just spray painted it a metallic gold. It was a smoke gray at first. So that bookcase sits right in, right in my living room when you walk through the door. So this is where this beautiful vase will go. So the DIY project today, of course, this is our project. However, we're going to do a hydro dipping DIY. If you do not know what that is, that is um, an activity that I actually found on Instagram and it looked pretty cool. So I wanted to try it for the first time today. With the hydro dipping, you need a large clear tube and I'm sorry, a tub. <laughs> you need a large clear tub, you fill it up with water and you'll actually use spray paint. You'll spray paint the top of the water. Some people maneuver the spray paint around. Some people just leave it as it is, like spraying the corners, which I'm going to get into a little bit later. So we'll be using the Rust Olim Metallic Silver and then we'll be using the Rust Olim Metallic gold so these are the two colors that i'm aiming for for this particular project today so we're going to get into it we're going to go outside on my deck i have everything already set up we just have to fill up the tub with water and we're going to get straight into it guys okay guys so we're going to go ahead and head outside to the deck where i am filling up the clear tub with water like i stated earlier with hydro dipping you have to fill up the tub with water and then we'll be able to spray the metallic gold and the metallic silver spray paint on top so we can do the hydro dipping for the vase so we're going to go ahead and head outside guys so we can see how that is going okay okay guys so now we're going to start on the hydro dipping we have our clear tub filled up with water and then we're going to start using the rust Olim metallic silver along with the metallic gold and just spray around within the clear tub and then just let it move around and i also brought a small little stick um i know with some reviews with this hydro dipping they have stated that with using a stick trying to move around these spray paint sometimes it does get stuck onto a stick so i'm going to use that option if not then if, it, if too much gets stuck on the stick then i'm going to go ahead and just respray within the clear water and then we'll just work with it that way so we're going to start with the gold and i'm not sure if you guys can see it at the top I will give a closer view towards the end. And so what I'm doing is just spray painting within the water. And then we're gonna go in with the metallic silver. And I'm gonna spray the corners with the metallic silver to move the gold a little bit more into the middle. However you actually want it, you can do it that way. But I, I want more gold than silver. I really want to give out that feel. So we're going to try the stick and see how it works. And it is pulling everything together, as you can see. So we're not going to do the stick. See how much excess um, spray paint that it pulled off. So we're not going to use the stick. So we're just going to go back in and respray where the spray paint was taken. Okay. And so remember guys that this is our project. So we're just gonna dip it in and, see, and roll it around and see how it turns out. So look at that guys, look how cool that is. I only got the front 
but we can spray paint a little bit more so we can get the back and towards the bottom. I necessarily don't want this done. I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off. I'm sorry, I'm gonna take this off when we get um, back to the um, inside and I'm gonna, I just want this part to go. So this is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna spray paint a little bit more just so we can get the pack of the base. And like I said, whatever color that you want the most, however you want it to be, then that will be perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with having a little bit more gold, having a little bit more gray, metallic silver, I'm sorry. It's what you want your project to look like. So we're gonna go back in and we're gonna dip the, we're gonna dip the other side. So as you can see, it's giving off. I'm, I'm really loving it, guys. I want to get this side as well. And like I said, I'm going to wait for it to dry. Then I'm going to tape off a little bit of the top part because I want the top part to be metallic though. So do this as many times as you need to to make your vase perfect. I think we're doing a pretty good job for the first time. <laughs> Oh, and then also, guys, I got the clear tub from um, Target. It was maybe like $7 for a 72 quart. So we're going to go back in. We're going to pull that up. Then we can get the excess off, pull it off if you want to, guys. If you don't, then just tack it a little bit. But it's giving off an abstract type of feel. So but then we have this side left go back in. I want to do a little bit more uh, metallic silver on this side. There we go. And just the spray painting within the water is pretty cool. Who would have thought? So I'm just going to drag this. So look at this. It's giving off more gold, which I was aiming what I was aiming for. But I do want to get this side a little bit more. I want to get it a little bit more silver. So like I said, go in as many times as you need, guys. Everybody's base will be different. Just based off of what you want to do. Make sure you do it on a cool day. It's pretty hot outside in Texas. <laughs> drag it and then that I yes it looks messy as of right now but once it dries guys it's going to give off that feel that you want so and then we can go in and do the top a little bit I don't want it too close to the top because like I stated I want it to be cold around the rim So the spots that you feel like you missed, you want to re-hit, you can definitely do that. See, look at that, guys. Look at that. That is pretty cool. So we're going to speed up the process just a tad bit so we can get towards the end. And I will show you guys the finished product. okay so guys i'm back as you can see i did a little bit more it's giving off more of an abstract feel which i really pretty love so i went in and dipped it probably a little bit more five times 
And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for it to dry and then I'm gonna tape up this top part and paint it, well paint, I'm gonna do this side right here and then I'm gonna paint just the top part of metallic gold. So we're gonna wait for it to dry and then we're gonna go um, back inside where I can spray paint just the top part and then we're gonna stay inside. Okay guys, so as you can see, you can see some spray paint that is left within the clear tub. However, I wanted to give you a close up of how it looks when you spray paint the water. So this is the metallic gold. You see how it sticks straight to the top? And it's giving off that feel. So that's how you get your um, spray paint to stick to your vase. Here is the close-up of the vase as well. And like I stated, we're gonna wait for it to dry so I can tape it down a little bit and just get that top part. Okay guys, so we're back from outside and I let the vase dry a little bit. As you can see, this is a finished product. So again, we use the Rust Olim Metallic Silver, and then we use the Rust Olim Metallic Gold. So what I want to do now is that I'm gonna take down the sides of this vase because I just want the rim to be Metallic Gold. So that's what we're gonna get into now. This is just some Scotch blue tape. Um, I think I got it either from Amazon or I retrieved it from Lowe's. So we're going to get into it. Also guys, for the spray paint, they both are located within my Amazon storefront. They will, they will be placed under my ideal list as DIY. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. And I'm not sure actually, now that I think about it, I'm honestly not sure where I got this vase from. Maybe it's at the bottom. Kirkland's. I got this vase from Kirkland's. I wouldn't have thought of it. Um, I actually got it from Kirkland's. So I've been having it for um, a hot little minute. Um, I want the top part to still have a little bit of white to it. So that's why I'm not necessarily covering that portion. I really just want to cover um, the rim to make it metallic gold. And like I said, guys, this will be staged on my bookcase ladders. Um, I retrieved those from Wayfair. You will see those towards the end of the video where I will stage this beautiful vase with the uh, with the staircase ladder and also the staircase ladder was a diy project that i did last week where i just changed the color i used the metallic um, gold as you can see here use the metallic gold in order to paint it a uh, metallic gold um, i wanted it more gold i took it out of my office since i'm revamping my office guys i took the ladder um, bookcases out of my office and place them in the front area in my living room when you first walk in. So I have not staged my second bookcase ladder. I'm in the middle of doing that. However, the one that I am working on as of right now, this has all of my accolades on it. It has my high school diploma with a picture of me from high school. It has a picture of me graduating with my bachelor's degree along with that degree and then it has um a picture of me graduating with my master's degree so and then um i also have the degree um placed up there as well so it's my accolade um bookcase that i'm very proud of so when you walk in you will be able to see and enjoy um everything so i'm really taping everything down making sure that i just get the rim i only want the rim to be the metallic gold and we're going to keep this little area white we're going to keep this little area white as you can see i only taped up that part so when i spray paint it does not reach that part and then I, of course i lay down i lay down a cardboard box so my Island would not be ruined. I would be so upset with myself if I hung my island. So again, we'll be using a Rust OM, OLM Metallic Gold. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not sure if I'm saying Rust OLM correctly or not, but that's just how I pronounce it. So we're gonna go ahead and spray paint just the rim, guys, just the rim.
And then guys, make sure that you're spraying a little soft so it won't spray very, uh, so it won't spray out all the way and ruin something. And you want it to still stay within the core board and then sway as well because you want it to be even. You don't want it to be all gloomy. I learned that. So we can turn this around. Like let it come natural guys. So you won't have too much spray paint like gulped up and it looks like you were just spraying everywhere. You don't want that. So and then I'm gonna get the top as well. And then one another thing that I actually love about this spray paint is that it actually it dries pretty quickly so that is a good thing so i'm just going back over with another coat and i do see where some speckles came and went over the tape which is perfectly fine so this giving um something it's giving much very something <laughs> So I'm gonna show you guys what I what I mean. It's speckled a little bit on the outside, which is perfectly fine because it still matches the um, base in total. So, but if you want to, if you did not necessarily want it right there, you can easily go get a magic eraser, which I always keep in my kitchen. You can get it from anywhere, from Target, Walmart. You can order it online. A magic eraser works wonders. I use this for walls. If I um, scratch my walls up while I'm moving something, um, all you have to do is wet it. When you wet it and then you just, you know, just swipe and wipe it off. That's all you have to do. So imagine you race it, guys, you need it. Um, especially if you are a cleaner like me, you're gonna want that magic eraser, especially for, like I stated, if you get scratch marks on your wall, if something is on the floor that it looks like you can't get off necessarily, so a magic eraser is actually my best, it's my best friend. So I make sure that I stay stocked up on those because I do a lot. Um, even if like say for instance, you have my makeup, you touch your face and then you touch your wall. My walls are white um, and I've done it before where I touch my face and touch my wall, the magic eraser helps with that as well. So we're gonna let this dry and cool off for a little bit. And then we're gonna peel off the scotch tape and see how it looks. If I want to do a little bit more, then I will. I will show you guys that as well. If not, if I like the way that it is, then I'm going to go ahead and stage it on my bookcase ladders. And I will give you a tour that is literally like five steps away, guys. But I will give you a tour and show you how that is set up as well. Okay, guys. So we are back. Remember when we where we left off, we used um, the blue scotch tape to tape around the edges of the base because I only wanted to get the rim. And we used the metallic gold um rust alone spray paint so what i'm going to do is i'm going to peel off the blue um tape and we're going to see if i like it if i do not like it then we're going to add something more to it um what i was thinking if i necessarily don't like it is even either adding gold crushed ice or which i'm gonna show you guys Using these, um, they're from Ashland, so basically Kirkland's. Um, and using these, if you can see them up close, and putting them around the rim and then just spray painting it, more than likely the metallic silver. But we're gonna see if I actually like it when I peel back the Scotch blue tape. So let's get into it. So just peel it off. If you got a ribby, go ahead and do that. So, I actually like it, however, I do want to add a little bit more to it. So, what I think that I'm going to do, and let me back up so you guys can see it, is that I want to add these. 
which I think will be so cute. So cool. I will use adhesive glue to add these and then I will actually spray paint it the metallic silver. So we're going to get into that. I'm going to speed up that process. But as you can see, they're kind of small, kind of not. So it's not going to take me that long, but I'm going to speed up that process. Since that process is going to be a little bit longer than the hydro dipping and the spray painting of the top part of the vase. So we're going to get into that and we're just going to speed up that process. Up. Okay guys, so like I stated, we're going to use these to put around the rim of the vase. And then we're gonna use the B7000, which is adhesive glue to make it stick. Once we place it on and let it dry a little bit, then we're going to actually use the metallic silver to spray over the, the beads. I'm thinking that they're beads. They're just decorative fillers, but you can use them for um, other projects. So the decorative fillers will be spray painted on metallic silver. So we're going to speed up the process just so we can get through a little bit quicker, but we're going to wrap it around and then we're just going to do it that way. Or even, it really just depends on how you want it. If I think that it's enough for me just putting it around the rim, then that will be perfectly fine. If I want to add a few more layers and I'll do that as well. And I'm just going to do it as I go. So we're going to use the adhesive glue. Put some over here on the cardboard box. And then we also have these tools that comes with the adhesive glue as well, guys. And um, my adhesive glue was purchased through my Amazon storefront. It will also be located under the DIY Essentials. So we're gonna get straight into it. Whether you just want to use the adhesive glue and just put it on yourself, that's perfectly fine. But just also remember, guys, that the adhesive glue does does actually dry pretty quickly. So we're gonna speed up this process. Okay guys, so I got the small piece of cardboard because I'm going to place it to where I can still have a little bit of exposed um, white on the base. I don't necessarily want it to be fully covered. I still want a little bit of the white to be exposed. So I'm going to use the cardboard just a tad bit, push it up. Now you're going to get gold in places, however, it's still going to be okay. I just don't want it to be fully covered in white. And 
And then I'm gonna go and give it two coats as well. So this is what it looks like. Like I said, you're gonna get the little speckles of the gold, guys. However, I still have some white that's exposed, so I'm loving it. It's perfect for me, so I'm actually loving it. I just don't want it to be gold everywhere. So I'm gonna give it two, uh, another paint, another spray paint, round the paint. Just to make sure that it's gold in the way that I want it to be gold in, guys. Okay. So we're going to let this dry just a tad bit. And once it dries, I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to stage it on my staircase book, uh, on my bookcases, ladder bookcases, I'm sorry. So yes, this is what I'm going to do. But this is the final product and I'm in love with it. I love how we have the metallic gold, the metallic silver. We also have a little bit of white exposed on the bottom and on the top. So I'm going to show you guys how that will be staged. I'm excited, guys, because it turned out better than what I thought it was. Like I stated, this is my first time doing hydro dipping. And it worked out perfectly. The only thing that we had a problem was, of course, is with the stick. And I did see on a lot of other people's Instagram pages and stories that have that has done hydro dipping before that the spray necessarily sticks to the stick or whatever you put in there to stir the um, spray paint around. But again, like I stated, and as you saw um, earlier, that even though I put the stick in it and a lot of the spray paint stuck to the stick, all you have to do is reapply the color of spray paint that you want and you can um, just do it that way. So I'm going to let this dry for probably about five to 10 minutes and then we're gonna stage it on my um, ladder bouquets, guys. Okay guys, so we are back and we are finished with our DIY project for today. Remember that we did the hydro dipping for the white round base that I showed you guys at the very beginning of the video. We did hydro dipping with um, the, the rust oleum metallic gold and metallic silver. How that works again, guys, is that you get a large clear tub Fill it up with water and then whatever colors you decide to use, you can spray on top of the water and then you will dip the vase the way that you want it to be dipped in order to create that type of vision for yourself with your vase. Um, I've seen people do it a lot on Instagram and I wanted to try it for myself. So today was the first time that I was able to do the hydro dipping and I love the way that it turned out. So you remember that I included the vase fillers around the rim of the white, um, around the white vase and I spray painted it in metallic gold. So it has finished drying. So I'm gonna stage it on my ladder bookcases like i stated before this is my accolade ladder with my high school diploma my bachelor's degree and my master's degree so the base will actually sit up here so i'm gonna go get it guys so you will be able to see my vision on how i wanted it to be staged so remember this is the finished product guys with the hydro dipping, with the vase fillers that um, I spray painted, the metallic gold, which I love. I love everything about it. This vase actually turned out way better than what I thought it was going to be since this was my first time doing the hydro dipping. So we're going to place it up here and this is where it is going to sit, guys. You can angle it any kind of way. I think I love this because it's showing more of the gold. And then I have another DIY project that I am using to kind of bring out the vase more and i'm gonna show you guys that so these leaves that i spray painted they were um you know a leaf type of feel of course like that um a color and I'm, i spray painted in metallic silver and metallic gold like i stated guys I love gold, I love gray, silver, I love white. So that is my vision around my home. So I'm gonna stage these within here. 
I'm going to put a gold one first. Tuck this up under my arm really quickly. And then I'm going to put another gold because I want the metallic silver to kind of stand out since I have two gold and only one metallic. So, this is the finished product, guys. I'm going to give you a, a more upfront. And then I'm going to show you the full... Um, ladder as well i'm not sure if you can see the full bottom but i'm going to show that off as well and i am pretty excited i love 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 how this hydro dipping base turned out guys i really hope you do as well And like I stated, if you have not subscribed to my channel thus far, go ahead and hit that subscribe link. My name is Danny, and I will have more videos with hydro dipping, with other DIY projects and essentials as well. So stay tuned and go ahead and subscribe, guys. Thank you.